I love going down to the farmer's market and getting my stash of fresh goodies for the week. I've got some old family friends coming over tonight for a Sunday roast and I know they're really going to appreciate that lovely tradition. I'm cooking some venison and it's such a treat and I'm going to make a gorgeous red pepper sauce and have it with green beans and a potato gratin. And that's what I love about going to the market. You can just see what's in season and then come home and create the meal out of what's best at the moment. I've got 400 grams of Silver Fern Farms venison roast here and it's a fantastic cut. It's got no bone in it, it's incredibly lean and I'm going to cook it in this delicious sauce that's going to go with it in less than 20 minutes. So I'm going to brown my venison in the pan. When it's roasting, I'm going to make a sauce with these lovely red peppers. And it also, the fruitiness of the peppers and that wine and sugar just goes really well with the venison. So instead of putting the butter in the pan, I put it on the meat. And that way it contains it. Give it a good season with salt and pepper. I'm going to brown that for about two minutes on each side. Two to three minutes. You want it really nice and brown. So while that's browning, I'm going to chop up my peppers. Mmm, that meat is browning beautifully. It's nearly ready to go into the oven. And here in the pan, I've got the basis of the most delicious sauce. So, really hot oven. It'll take about 14 to 16 minutes. Then, my peppers just dump into all those lovely pan browning. And when peppers aren't in season, I make this with red onions. Just as good. Now you want to cook these out until they're really softened. That will take about five or six minutes. Mmm, those peppers are getting nice and soft. So now I'm going to add some red wine, about a cup. Quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar. Quite a lot of sugar. That's the sweetness of the sugar with those pan brownings and the vinegar and it just all reduces down. Mustard seeds and dried cranberries. So it's kind of a sweet, sour, fruity, tangy thing happening. And honestly, it just goes so well with the venison. So that's going to simmer away and reduce down. It'll probably take about another 10 minutes. My venison has had 14 minutes after it's been browned in the pan. So it's just roasted for that short amount of time. Mm, it smells so good. There's something really celebratory about a roast. And the thing with venison, is that you need to make sure that you serve it quite rare because otherwise it loses that lovely juiciness. Instead of pressing it like this, you're best to squeeze it through the middle. So that way you can ascertain in the middle that level of springiness. So it's really important you always take the meat out of the oven well before you think it's going to be done because in fact it's going to carry on cooking while it rests. Let it rest. So that's going to be about 10 minutes and that means I can go and have glass of wine or set the table or just hang about. Such a good thing about a roast. Let's carve up this beautiful meat. Now my father always said carve meat really thinly and always carve it across the grain. Oh look at that. Oh so good. And that way it's always going to be tender and it also makes a little bit go a long way. And he's right. This is just so delicious. And I love the fact that you can create this real sense of celebration for everybody with something like a roast, but it was so easy to make. New Zealand venison at its best. Now that feels like a celebration.